A strike at Idaho's iconic Silver Valley mine has stopped work. Lucky Friday miners decided to strike last night by a vote of 230 to 2. Jack Ferris working for you in Mullen, speaking with employees on both sides of the picket lines. Through rain, snow, or sunshine, the Lucky Friday miners are prepared to strike 24 hours a day fighting for what they're calling respect on their next collective bargaining agreement. You know, we all take pride in working in the mine. We all take pride in working for Hecla. Hecla's been a great steward of the community. Um, we just, uh, it's unfortunate that this is happening, and we'd like to, uh, you know, get back to the table. Local 5114 President Phil Epler wasn't thrilled that his fellow union members were holding signs rather than working Monday morning. But since the collective bargaining agreement with Hecla Mining expired last spring, a new contract has not been signed. We've had 27 meetings over the last 10, 12 months, and uh, we've gotten to, to this point where we weren't in, a, in agreement, and the union um, gave us notice last night that they were going to go on strike, which is where we are. There are two principal holdups at the negotiation table. First, Hecla is looking to reform vacation policies and holiday pay, changes that Local 5114 doesn't believe is necessary. Second is shift scheduling and assignments, essentially final say over who works where and when. Who assigns that? Is the company or is it the union? And as the company, like most businesses, we have to be able to sign where, where, where people work. Local 5114 believes the company would be better served if they handle personnel assignments. Here we got a, a new crew of young people in here that are go-getters. And to have them pull up stakes and go to Alaska or Montana at this point, it's going to be a loss. Both Hecla and the union expressed their desire to get production back on track as soon as possible, but until then, it appears both sides are in their corners. If Hecla's done anything throughout this last nine, ten months of bargaining, they've brought this union together like I have never seen it before. Reporting from Silver Valley, Jack Ferris, KXLY4 News.